Good morning, Canvas Kids, and happy Sunday, and happy the day after the 4th of July. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun yesterday. I wonder if any of you stayed up to watch fireworks, or maybe you went somewhere to see them, or I don't know, maybe you watched them on TV. It seems like watching them on TV was the safest bet, considering all the crazy stuff going on in our world right now, but I hope that you enjoyed celebrating our independence as a country and eating red, white, and blue stuff. And maybe you wore red, white, and blue stuff. I don't know. But today is the 5th of July, which isn't as exciting as the 4th of July. So you probably heard my doorbell. I have a feeling that one of the teenagers in my house ordered food and is coming up to get it. That's usually when the doorbell rings. So you might hear some stuff going on. But all right, we're going to begin our service this morning with worship and so i'm going to start with the song this little light of mine we sang that a couple weeks ago and it's really important in our lesson today so i thought we'd open up with that of course on our resources page you'll find the video for this song right there and you can sing along with it at home too but will you sing with me now here we go this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. We sing about this little light of mine because we're singing about the, the beauty and light and um, excitement of the story of the gospel. It's the story that Jesus, God himself, came to earth and took on all of our sin and eradicated it for us and then allowed us to live in freedom from it so that we can be with him in eternity that's what it means to be a part of God's family and so when we understand that truth the idea that it glows within us like a light and we want to share that light with other people that's the story of sharing the gospel we're going to talk about that a little bit more in our lesson today so let's keep shining our light and I'm telling people what it means to be a part of God's family and, and how much that brings us joy in our hearts. We're gonna sing the next song in honor of our hide and seek verse. I was thinking about our verse and I just, I don't know why, the song popped in my head. So I thought we should sing that for worship. It's been a while since we have. Do you remember, open the eyes of my heart, Lord? We're gonna sing that one together now. And of course, there's a video for you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. We want to see you. We want to see you. I wanted to change that last line a little bit with we want to see you. And it just makes me think of this verse because ultimately this is saying that if we open our eyes when we're reading God's word, then we will see the wonderful things in his law. But it's kind of like this opening of our heart at the same time because, you know, we can read the word of God and, and find nothing that changes us if we don't allow it to get into our hearts too. There are so many people who can, who can quote scripture, but it doesn't change their lives because they never allowed it to open their hearts. And so that song is asking that God would not just open my eyes up, that he would open my heart up as well. And we know with our hide and seek idea, we wanna hide God's word in our heart. We wanna seek after him with all of our hearts because it's ultimately, it's the heart that brings about change in our lives. It's not just what we see, but do we allow it to get in and change our behavior and, and change our view of God and of sin and of forgiveness. And so when we sing and ask God, 
to open up the eyes of our heart. We're saying, Lord, let your word change me. And that's something I want to sing every day to him. The last song we're going to sing is a song that it's, it's been a very long time since we have sung it. And so you'll really want to review the video. Um, I love the series that this video is coming from. If you watch the video, you'll see there are other connected videos to it. You can go watch a whole bunch of videos by these same kids. They're so fun. And what I love about this one is all the sloths that are in the video. When I was watching it, I saw them all and I thought of my Gabriel because sloths are his favorite animal. Um, so maybe when you're watching the video, you can point out, maybe you'll see one of your favorite animals in there. But yes, watch these videos from this group of kids. Go back and, and see a whole bunch because they're really fun and you get to see some cool things. This song is Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. And once you hear me sing it, I bet you'll remember it. Here we go. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I have proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. When you watch that video, you'll hear a couple other verses and they'll sing the chorus again. And I love it. I love just letting that melody run through my head all day. And that last line is of the chorus is, I think, our key for this morning. Oh, for grace to trust him more. And this lyric is teaching us or reminding us that it's the grace that God gives us that actually allows us to trust him more. In other words, the faith that we have in God is put there in us and grown up in us by Jesus himself. That's a crazy idea. The man that wants us to have faith in him gives us the faith to have faith in him. It seems like this crazy circle, but it's the truth. We can only grow in our faith in Christ if we let Christ build it up in us. In our story today, we're going to talk a little bit about that concept. And so um, I wanted to kind of set the foundation for that idea with our music. And so bury those lyrics in your hearts and then hang on to them. So when we talk about where we find that idea in God's word, you'll remember the lyrics. Okay, so today's parable is the parable of the mustard seed. And when you look on the resources page, you'll see that there are two different video links for you. The first one is the story of the verse that um, we're studying today. We're looking in Matthew, and this is a moment where Jesus is using a very short parable to tell a very quick point to his disciples. A second video kind of stretches out the concept of the mustard seed a little bit more. And so watch both of them before we come back and talk about the lesson. So there are two parallel ideas, but they're not exactly linking up. We're going to talk together about how we can make those two side by side ideas come together. OK, so watch both videos and then come back and we'll talk about it. See you in a minute. 